In this video, I will explain how I built my new home studio with my friends and family completely DIY. Be sure to stick to the end of the video to see the final results. Hey guys, my name is Zach and I make music under the name Captain Portal and many other aliases. Bruh. I've been making and producing music in various projects and have played in various bands since 2001. Over the years, I've made music in various places. A lot of the setups are very small and DIY and not well treated to say the least, but I have lots of fond memories of creating music in those various spaces. In early 2020, my wife and I bought our first house. We decided that the basement in this house would be a good place to build my next home studio. Construction for the studio began around January of 2021. I was unemployed from my main job at the time because of the pandemic, so that changed some things of how we started to do the studio. Financially, we didn't want to go into any debt or take out loans while building the space, so it took a little bit longer to do some things, but it was better financially for us in the end. We weren't sure what we really wanted to do with the space at first, but we did know that we wanted to add a second room for tracking, so that's what we started with. After the basic setup of the second room was done, my dad and I then started to add the lighting fixtures in the studio. We used these canless LED lights that we got from Home Depot. We changed the light switch to a dimmable switch and then we added a couple more switches to control certain lights. After I got my job back in the spring, we decided to do more to the studio than we originally planned. We decided to change all the walls. We gutted all the wood paneling that was originally there. We added insulation and drywall. All right, I'm about to finish the third layer of mud in the tracking room here. <sighs> Mining's not fun. Let's get this done. Once all the mudding and sanding was done with the walls, it was time to start working on the floor. I decided to re-level the floor first because it needed some work before putting the actual lime and the flooring down. So I got the rooms prepared and primed for the leveling concrete. My brother-in-law Malik Temple and his friend and bandmate Delaney came over and we leveled the floor out the best we could. This was the first time we'd done a project like this, but we were still happy with the final result in the end. Once the concrete was dry, I then started preparing the floor for the actual laminate flooring. My wife and I then installed the laminate floor over a couple of days. At the end of 2021, my main job was getting rid of all of their custom wood shelving units and replace them with new metal ones. I saw this as a perfect opportunity to use some of the scrap wood for the studio, so I took home as much as I could. It took multiple trips to bring it all home, but it was well worth it. Shout out to my father-in-law for letting me borrow his pickup truck. The first project I used for the wood was to build all the acoustic panels throughout the studio. I wanted to go with this floor to ceiling look. I built each panel from scratch one at a time going from either end to meeting in the center. I used these Knopf Ecos insulation boards from ATS Acoustics and then covered it up with fabric from a local Chicago company called Burlap Fabric. Once all the panels were made, I then installed the trim around the panels to give it a nice finishing touch. The next big scrap wood project was to build a new studio desk from scratch. This was a big undertaking for me since I have little to no carpentry skills. After a couple failed attempts to build it myself, I asked my friend Mark, who's a musician and carpenter, to help me build the desk. I seriously can't thank him enough. He took this little design that I drew on a piece of paper and he turned it into this amazing desk. With my wife's help with decorating and aesthetics, we were finally able to furnish the studio and slowly put things into place. This was also the first time I was able to have my entire music collection in one room. I love having physical copies of releases, especially CDs. I've been building this music collection my entire life and it's probably gonna keep growing. And now for the final reveal. Welcome to the new Captain Portal Studio. It's just so good to finally be here in this finished space. It took about two years to build and was definitely worth the wait. I'm excited to see what the future holds for the studio and what projects are going to come out of here, whether it's my own music or music I'm producing for someone else or any mixing projects I'm doing. I also want to start putting out more video content on YouTube and my other social platforms. I have lots of ideas for videos and music releases and sound experiments. I'm just getting started and I'm super excited to see where this goes. I already have some projects in the works that I can't wait to share with everyone. Be sure to subscribe Subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on my other social platforms to follow my music journey. This is Zach of Cat the Portal, and I'll see you guys next time. 
Man, it's weird talking in front of a camera.